Senator Kajuang. Mr. Speaker, as I make my comments on this motion, I'd like to wish the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Gashagwa, quick recovery. He is still the President of the Republic of Kenya as at 9.19 p.m. on the 17th of October until uh, any decision is made. He's still the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. We pray that God gives him the strength and God gives him good health to continue uh, pursuing that um, responsibility. Mr. Speaker, the Council for County Assembly began his opening statement and he is uh, National Assembly, that is the Venerable uh, James Orengo, with a quote from the scripture. Mr. Speaker, allow me also to go to scripture. And this time I will go to the book of John. In the book of John chapter 8, we get the story of the adulterous woman. Mr. Speaker, Jesus Christ is teaching his disciples at the temple early in the morning. And the scribes and the Pharisees, early in the morning, drag a woman to his presence and say that this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. The Bible says that she has been caught, and I quote, in the very act of adultery. Mr. Speaker, what surprises me in this passage is that the woman who was caught in the very act of adultery has been produced, but the man who contributed to the adultery was not brought before Jesus Christ in the temple. Mr. Speaker, we have a man who has been brought before us for impeachment. He, we have been told that he's been a political adulterer. We have been told that he has grossly violated the Constitution and the laws of the Republic of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, adultery takes two. It takes two to tango. Like that woman in the book of John, I don't know whether they went for the men who cajoled her, who seduced her, who connived with her, and who paid her for the act of adultery. Mr. Speaker, in this Republic of Kenya, we must drain the swamp of adultery. And today, just like back in the days when the law of Moses required that a woman who had been convicted or accused of adultery ought to be stoned to death, unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, it looks like the same punishment was not pres uh, prescribed for men. It was just for women to be stoned to death, and yet it takes a man for a woman to commit adultery. Tonight, because the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya is just like the law of Moses. It says if you are found guilty of political adultery, you should be stoned to political death. It is called impeachment. You are sent into political purgatory for 10 years. You cannot run for office. Mr. Speaker, we must deal with the law as is. The law as is requires us that the woman or the man accused of adultery must be stoned to death in this chamber. That is the law as it is. But Mr. Speaker, we must make sure that we bring those other men and women who commit and who encourage people to go into adultery so that they also face the same sentence and they also face the same judgment. Mr. Speaker, I am convinced that political adultery has been committed in the case before us. There has been a conversation about a dubious shareholding structure of the Republic of Kenya. If the Republic of Kenya was a corporation, as you have been told, or if it was a political party, then we would have 56 million equal shareholders from Moyale to Vanga, from Nyatike to Nyandiwa, from Bumala to Malaba. Mr. Speaker, it cannot be restricted to a geographical uh, entity called a mountain. Mr. Speaker, I am convinced that political adultery has been committed in the intimidation and threats to judicial officers. I am convinced that political adultery has been committed in public attacks on our intelligence service. So, Speaker, where I come from, if you find your father naked, you don't proclaim his nakedness, you cover him. And we cannot then proclaim the nakedness of our intelligence service. Mr. Speaker, I am convinced that the Deputy Speaker has committed political adultery. Sorry, the, the Deputy President. 
has committed. <laughs> uh, I, I am sorry, Deputy Speaker. Has committed political adultery. And Mr. Speaker, <laughs> for. Your time is up. Uh, your time is up, Senator Murango.